Hey, this is Swapnil Bharatiya from Muktwe.com and today we are going to talk about Linux Mint 13 running KD. When you install Linux Mint 13, this is the default desktop you will get where you will have this uh, panel at the bottom and you will have this uh, uh, folder view applet or widget here. This is uh, uh, one of the most customizable uh, desktop environments in my opinion let's uh, explore it one by one first of all this uh, folder view uh, if you are somebody who keeps a lot of files on your desktop or you find it easy to 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 open files or folder from your desktop then instead of cluttering your desktop with all those files you can use this folder view and whatever uh, files and folders you create will be nested neatly in this uh, folder view and instead of uh, having it totally cluttered you can have it very well organized you see the whole uh, desktop is clean and tidy and you can resize it just like a regular widget and you can move it around and you can have more than one such folder view so you can have multiple views uh, folder views for different uh, kind of media Another notable thing about folder view is that you can select uh, which folder or which partition you want to show here. So you can click on this configure button and instead of showing the desktop folder, you can sh uh, choose any other uh, uh, folder or place. And I chose home here and now you see all my files from the home folder are visible here. And at the same time, you can choose any other location from your desktop. If you don't like it and if you want the old style uh, you know, desktop where all these files are on this desktop instead of in this folder view you can very easily do that by just going to the desktop settings and changing it the the layout from desktop to folder view now what will happen is all the files on the desktop will appear here which you post put it on the on the desktop folder in your home which is this folder here but as I said, I prefer this folder view because it clean, while it gives me access to all the files I want, it also keeps the, the desktop uh, clutter free and you can very uh, easily see what's up there. So I will switch back to uh, this view. Now, you might have noticed uh, when I was playing with the desktop setting, there are other options like add panel, add widget. What is that? We'll talk about it. Uh, I was a big fan of panels under GNOME because it allowed me to uh, pin the applications which I wanted or, uh, or the application which I access frequently. So instead of going uh, to the application menu every time, I can just very easily open those applications right from the panel. Uh, that uh, was taken away with uh, Unity and GNOME Shell. Though you can pin uh, apps to the launcher panel or the the favorite bar but still you cannot move it around and customize it the way you may want so let's add a C and add a panel and see how it works so I am creating an empty panel by default it goes on top now you can move it anywhere you want right click on it panel settings and just hold the screen edge and you can move it towards left right top or bottom so I am just moving it towards left so that you can compare it with Unity or GNOME Shell. Now, these two are uh, interfering with each other. So we'll once again go to panel setting and make it a bit shorter. Now, I may also want it to be in the center so it look aesthetically good. So I can go on more settings and choose center. So now it has moved towards the center. At the same time, I may want it to auto hide when I'm not using it and I can select auto hide option there. So now, that's what you get and somehow I find it to be more responsive than um, Ubuntu Unity maybe I'm wrong but I find it to be more responsive and, uh, responsive and fast now you can add uh, any application that you want uh, to this uh, panel so when you want to access this app you can just simply go there and open them you can also access uh, sorry you can also add uh, your uh, uh, dolphin folder here 
so you can add, add your uh, music so it, it offers you what kind of view you want folder view or icon view if you put folder view so when you will access it it will show you if there are any uh, subfolders within that folder so it's it's heavily customizable and then of course there are other uh, options such as uh, uh, widgets and activities which you can add here uh, like uh, analog clock and there are so many things under KD which you can explore and uh, enhance your uh, uh, productivity so you can you can go to panel and you can explore and you can add uh, whatever you want to do there in a nutshell you can customize it uh, the way you want now second uh, um, customization that I, we are going to talk about is the the total look and feel of the distribution at the same time uh, uh, trying to to manage and control your whole system from one place KDE excels at that there is a there is a something called system settings where you can see you have almost every aspect of the system every element is present here so whether it's start up and shut down where you can manage which app should start when the system boots up uh, so you can enhance your uh, boot up time or you can also uh, you know for example if you're using Dropbox or any other application which you want to, to, to start when your system boots you can very easily manage it one thing uh, which I miss under Unity is uh, the ability to change uh, or install new themes. You can do it very easily under um, uh, KDE. Uh, if you go to this uh, workspace experiences, you can see there are these windows decorations which are basically themes and you can change the theme to your liking. You can actually uh, install new themes, you can search and it has it is uh, it has a lot of things there in the database and you can very easily enable new themes just by one click you can also uh, download uh, themes from sites like kdlook.org and you can install them manually similarly you can uh, change your cursor theme desktop theme and a splash screen you, you you can also enable and disable a lot of desktop effects there uh, and you can have all those uh, 3d desktop or uh, other you know flying windows and things like that so this is another cool thing uh, with KD is not only the customization control but also uh, you can you can enhance your experience and add features that you want or need to work in a better way now next thing we are going to talk about is uh, the launcher uh, I find it to be very very useful um, for two reasons one is uh, it has all these uh, much needed uh, you can say categories there if you want to shut down your system you can very easily access all the all the options here and uh, you can also access the recently used uh, items and here you, you get access to your computer settings as well as the places and then here you have this application menu where all the applications are neatly categorized so if I'm looking for LibreOffice I know that it will be under office settings or if you're looking for um, Firefox you know that it will be under internet or if you're looking for GIMP it will be in the graphics if you don't know uh, which app is where or you don't want to go this you can very easily just search it here and you will you can open the app uh, right from there so that's another good thing about this launcher menu now when we're talking about this uh, search or typing uh, I cannot uh, I cannot just miss uh, this cool tool called K uh, runner you can invoke this by hitting alt F2 and now you'll see this window there it not only opens applications uh, places or files but also it can do perform other tasks such as calculation 1 plus 2 equal to uh, free and you can you if you want to con uh, convert uh, units you can do it very easily and there's several you can access the previously opened sites and you, you can do a lot many things there with uh, this K runner thing uh, the next thing that I would like to highlight is uh, the application the way you install applications on uh, uh, Linux Mint uh, 
just like Ubuntu Software Center, they have developed and they're working on their own software manager, which is uh, which they simply call software manager. But somehow I find just like Ubuntu Software Center, this thing is also uh, very slow. Uh, if I look for a package, you can see it takes uh, a bit longer to open that package. On the contrary, if I use Synaptic Package Manager, uh, I don't even have to talk about it. You know, it's just very fast to open and it's very responsive. So let's see, uh, VLC, and you see it's right there. So uh, I found uh, this software manager to be a bit slower, but for a new user who's coming from Windows or any other environment, this can be a, an eye candy or a, 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 a piece of attraction for him. So you have seen this is these are the few um, uh, good things about uh, Linux Mint running KDE. Just one more thing I would like to talk about is uh, uh, Dolphin is file manager. Uh, I have kind of love hate relationship with Dolphin. One great thing about Dolphin is just like the entire KDE environment is customizability. You can customize it the way you want it. Uh, and uh, there's so much to explore here for example you can go under dolphin settings and you can uh, customize almost every aspect of it uh, which which ranges from uh, like if you want if you like if you're using heavy files which are like in today if you're if you're ripping uh, blue disk which you 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 legally get uh, a copy of a downloadable downloadable co downloadable copy of your blue disk when you buy it is and if you want to see preview you can increase the file size here so it's not restricted because i think under gnome it is restricted to certain gbs you cannot see previews if the file is bigger than that and you can choose uh, 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 it very easily here you can also choose what kind of files uh, should show preview so you can sh sh show preview for text file video files SVG file Microsoft files so so it's a lot of uh, customization there at the same time you can also have split views so you can very easily copy paste data from one area to other area the only area where I found dolphin to be not working very well under any Ubuntu based system was its inability to mount my um, DSLR cameras that's why I was using not list now the, the problem with Linux Mint uh, there is a problem with Nautilus and other GTK apps and I'll just show you here uh, if you if you look at not list now let's say I'm trying to copy this picture folder to music folder now when I select it you, you see it's not highlighted at all whereas if I am in let's say dolphin and I select a folder it, it clearly shows selected here when I'm clicking on video it doesn't show selected or even if I select it it won't be highlighted so I will never know if I'm going to copy files I won't know whether the files are copied or not same problem happens with other GTK apps such as gedit uh, if I'm typing something And now I am trying to copy this typing thing. You see, as I am copying it, it is becoming transparent, or it's the font is changing to white, but there is no background. So this is one of the major problems that I face when I use any GTK app under uh, Linux Mint. Uh, I, I use Google Chrome and I use TweetDeck to manage my Twitter account, and same problem is there. I cannot copy uh, links or uh, messages. Uh, on the tweet deck so I cannot uh, use uh, uh, Linux Mint KDE or, or any other KDE based on Ubuntu due to this big problem so I think this is one area where uh, a Linux Mint user might want to uh, have a look at other than that uh, as I said that KDE offers complete control over your uh, computer it is heavily customizable and you can manage your machine the way a typical Linux machine is managed, it has a very, it has a familiar interface, uh, so you don't have to learn everything from scratch to do things. 
So if you are a, a Windows user who is trying uh, to use Linux or if you are a power user who wants uh, to control every aspect of his computer or if you are somebody who is not happy with the uh, Unity or GNOME shell, I think uh, Linux Mint KDE is a perfect distribution for you. In addition to that, means if you are just a regular Linux user and you just want complete control as I said above, Linux Mint is perfect. So I will I'll heavily recommend that you should give it a try and let me know what do you feel about this distribution. Thank you.